was supposed to be a relaxing getaway. A chance for my friends and I to escape the city and enjoy some time together in the great outdoors. We found the perfect cabin on a secluded piece of property in the middle of the woods, and we couldn't wait to spend a weekend there. The cabin was an old, dilapidated structure, but it had a certain charm to it. It was nestled deep in the woods, far away from civilization and surrounded by tall trees that seemed to tower over us. It was the perfect place to get away from it all and just enjoy the peace and quiet of nature. But as soon as we arrived, strange things started happening. We heard strange noises in the night and saw shadows moving on the walls when there was no one there. We thought it was just our imaginations playing tricks on us, but as the days went on, the occurrences became more and more frequent and intense. At first, we shrugged it off as just being in an old, unfamiliar cabin, but soon it became clear that something was very wrong. The shadows seemed to move with a will of their own, and we started to feel like we were being watched. We began to lock ourselves in our rooms at night, too scared to even move. It was on the third night when things took a turn for the worse. I was alone in the cabin, and I heard a knock on the door. I opened it to find no one there, but I saw fresh footprints in the snow leading away from the cabin. I immediately woke up my friends, but they found nothing when they looked outside. It was as if someone was playing a cruel joke on us. The next day, we found strange symbols carved into the trees surrounding the cabin. It was as if someone had been trying to send us a message, but we had no idea what it meant. We were terrified, and we knew that we had to leave. But as we were packing up our things, we discovered that our car wouldn't start. We were stranded, with no way to call for help. We searched the cabin and found a hidden room in the basement. Inside, we found a strange, ritualistic altar covered in blood and human remains. We realized then that the cabin was built on an ancient burial ground and that we had disturbed the spirits of the dead. We were trapped, with no way to escape and the spirits were closing in. We knew that our only chance was to perform a ritual to appease the spirits and put them to rest. But as we were about to perform the ritual, we heard a knock on the door, and it was a hooded figure that appeared. He explained to us that he was the one who was living in the cabin before us and, gave, and gone missing. He had to leave the cabin because he got sick and was unable to continue the ritual that he has been performing to see the spirits of the dead away. Since he was not able to continue the ritual, the spirits were able to break free and were now after us. He suggested that we should leave the cabin as fast as we could. But we were not able to leave the cabin yet. We have to wait until the next day as it was already too dark to go out and the spirits were roaming around. We had no other choice but to spend the night in the cabin. We spent the night in the cabin huddled together in the living room, too afraid to even move. We didn't sleep at all. We just waited for the dawn to come, hoping that the spirits would leave us alone long enough for us to make our escape. But as the night went on, the occurrences became even more terrifying. We heard scratching on the walls and whispering voices in our ears. We were convinced that the spirits were trying to claim us for themselves. As morning finally came, we grabbed our things and prepared to leave. The hooded figure had warned us that we would have to perform a ritual to pass through the spirits safely, so we gathered all the materials we could and performed the ritual, hoping it would be enough to protect us. We opened the door and stepped out into the cold morning air. At first, everything seemed normal, but as we began to make our way down the path leading away from the cabin, we started to feel a sense of dread creeping over us. The spirits were all around us, watching and waiting. We were in a state of complete panic as we stumbled through the woods, trying to find our way to safety. We could hear the spirits all around us, 
closing in and we knew that we were that they were angry they were furious that we had disturbed their resting place and determined to make us pay we were running as fast as we could but we knew it wouldn't be enough the spirits were gaining on us and we could feel their cold breath on our necks we were so close to the main road but it felt like it was miles away just as we were about to give up hope we saw a car in the distance we ran towards it waving our arms yelling for help the car slowed down and stopped we got into the back seat tears streaming down our faces the driver looked back at us and asked are you okay what happened we told him about the cabin in the woods and the spirits that were chasing us he listened with a look of concern on his face and when he fi and when we finished he started the car and got us out of there we never spoke of that cabin again but the memory of it still haunts us to this day we all have had nightmares of the cabin and the spirits we can't shake the feeling that they're still out there waiting for us to return <laughs>